Okay, hello everyone. So to this today's video will be just me running through how to install Vim properly on Windows. So I will be yeah. So I'll be installing Vim directly on Windows. Um, just to make it uh, feel more like a Linux terminal. Um, so this is how you download it. Uh, I can just execute the exe file straight away. It's called gvim82.exe. You can download this from this freecodecam.org. Yeah, yeah, freecodecam.org. Uh, what do you call that? Uh, website. Just open the file. And there you go. You can select English language. Just go through your setup. Accept the terms. Okay, so the type of install is typical. Okay. Okay, so there's a Vim exe we can make. You can uh, open to the context menu. Let's see. Native language support. Okay. If it's a full setup, what will it be? Oh, I'll be able to make a. Uh, batch files as well create batch files for vim variants in the windows directory for command line use oh i definitely want that okay uh hmm yeah so i will just i will just get the full setup and i will just run through that okay and i want the compatibility of enhancements uh remap a few keys for windows Okay. Control V, Control C, Control F. Oh, I'll just leave it. Do not remap keys. So we'll it'll be in x86. Okay, so this is a uh, Vim. And I think in the last video. Okay. In the last video, uh we don't know. Oh, this is Vim. Yay. Let me close this. Let's try Vim. Oh, and it's it's already inside. Oh, that's convenient. Okay, so... Uh, well, we, w we have Vim here. We can do Python, blah, blah, blah. Print, blah, 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 blah. Yeah, okay, and then let's try the visual mode. Visual line. Oh, still works. Brilliantly, I can press the D button to delete, quit all, and done. Oh, okay, so okay, that, that is nice. Uh, Vim, Vim has been uh, so called integrated nicely into the command line environment without any need for uh, yeah, any need for any editing. Okay, 